Is the iPhone 13 worth it in 2024? Released in 2021, the iPhone 13 brought a lot of new features that subsequent iPhones have used today. One of these important features is the ProMotion display on the Pro models. And we've seen that every iPhone release since, at least on the Pro side, incorporated ProMotion into the display. It also brought photographic styles, which allow you to customize your photos. That way, one iPhone photo does not appear to be the same as the other. And you can see with subsequent iPhone releases, this feature has gotten better and better. I on occasion use my iPhone 13, even though my daily driver is an iPhone 15 Pro. I believe that the 13 Pro is still a great deal if you are looking to save money. What you would be trading is you'll get a notch if you care about that. But I suspect that if you are concerned about price points, then the notch doesn't really matter to you. You will have a lightning port instead of a USB-C port like the iPhone 15 models have. And that may be a factor for you to consider, especially considering that you would have to buy an additional cable. And this is assuming that you do not already have a lightning cable. The bright side is, is that it also comes with MagSafe. And with MagSafe, you'll be able to wirelessly charge your iPhone. And if you have this, then it's great. If you don't have this, then you could purchase wireless chargers on Amazon for pretty low prices. In terms of the software, which is what I want to focus on, it operates the same as the iPhone 15 Pro that I'm using to record this video. And honestly, there are days where I feel like I shouldn't have upgraded to the iPhone 15 Pro because I don't really use it any differently than the 13 Pro. This iPhone has gotten all of the upgraded features of iOS 17, and it will be slated to receive updates for iOS 18. Now, regarding how many of the iOS 18 features this phone will get, that's yet to be seen, but you can bet that it's going to have most, if not all, of the new features in iOS 18. So should you purchase an iPhone 13 in 2024? I would say go ahead. I think it's a great phone. I think if you get the Sierra Blue, it's probably the best iPhone color. But if you don't care about the color, all that matters is that it's still a solid device with solid performance and you will get your money's worth especially as the iPhone 16 comes out and you'll probably be able to get the iPhone 13 Pro for cheaper. And if you are concerned about saving money, then I believe this is the best way to go. So let me know what you think. Do you think the iPhone 13 Pro is worth it in 2024? Is there anything I forgot to mention? Please leave all of the comments below and thank you all for watching. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. Take care.